45 here on a Tuesday morning, one that is dangerously cold outside with the wind chills pretty severe, especially across northern Iowa. Wind chill advisories are in effect through noon today for most, if not all of central Iowa, including Metro Des Moines in pink up in areas like Franklin, Wright, Humboldt and Kasuth County. We have wind chill warnings in effect. That's where the wind chill will be most severe this morning. Our wind chill 19 below zero in Des Moines right now, 28 below in Newton, 29 below in Marshalltown. It is 26 below in Iowa Falls. Nobody this morning spared from the sub zero wind chills, and our temperatures themselves continue to fall as well. It's four below zero for the actual temperature in Des Moines. 5 below in Perry, 6 below in Ames, and 12 below in Fort Dodge, Marshalltown, and Iowa Falls. During the day today, we expect sub-zero wind chills from start to finish. At noon, it'll be 13 below zero for a feels like temperature. The best we can do about six to seven below in the warmest part of the day during the afternoon. So we will see the wind chills technically getting better, but expected to be frigid all day. And then we have one more pretty bitter cold night ahead. We will be in the teens below zero for wind chills by eight o'clock tonight. Early on Wednesday, eight o'clock in the morning, the wind chill 20 to in some cases near 30 below. It will be warming up tomorrow afternoon by the middle and late afternoon on Wednesday. The wind chill finally climbs above zero again, so it will get better tomorrow after the morning hours. Now today I do expect wall to wall sunshine. We should get to zero by 11 AM. Then we will get into the single digits above zero this afternoon. By four o'clock we're hanging on to about seven degrees. Our high in Des Moines today is eight above zero. Tomorrow we get to 24 late in the day, but it does warm up a lot. On Thursday we get to 32, but then the temperatures will start to fall Thursday afternoon as another cold front moves in. The good news is this weekend looks pretty good. Partly cloudy both days, highs near average in the low 30s. It actually looks better once we get past tomorrow for a while. A look at our whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. Actually a lot of 30s in this forecast finally, which will carry us through the start of February. And I don't have any rain or snow chances in the forecast until maybe close to Groundhog Day. There could be a little something in the works there, but that is still a ways away.